Hello YouTubers, I'm Paris, and in this video we're going to talk about the Python Top 5 Web Frameworks. So a framework is nothing but it's a collection of modules that make development easier. Now there are different web frameworks in Python that you can use, but we are going to just focus on our top 5 and also popular web framework. So the first one is Django. Now if you're a Python developer, you will be familiar with the Django. Uh, it's one of the most popular and widely used web frameworks for Python. Now Django is a high-level Python web framework that encourages rapid development and clean design. And Django is suitable for uh, a front-end and also back-end. It means that you can use Django as a front-end and, and, uh, and also you can use it uh, as a back-end. Uh, it's mostly used as a back-end. So, and also Django is famous because of its admin panel and uh, it's an auto-generated backend that allows you to manage completely your website. Uh, there are some cool features for the Django. For example, Django is fast. It means that Django was uh, designed to help developers take applications from concept to completion as quickly as possible. And also Django is secure and it means that Django takes uh, security seriously and helps developers to avoid uh, common security mistakes. And uh, there are different websites that uh, uh, they're using uh, Django. Uh, for example, we can uh, name Instagram. So uh, I think it, uh, Instagram uses Django as uh, their backend. And also there are some more websites like Reddit, Spotify, uh, uh, Dropbox that are using Django. So for the for the installation, you can just use pip install Django, and it will be installed. Now let's just create our first project in the Django. Okay, for the creation of the project, you can just use Django admin start project, and you can name your project and hit enter. So uh, one of the important point, I have a complete series on Django. You can just watch that. I've added the link to the video description. Now my project is created. Now you can just change directory to my uh, project. And you can just say uh, python manage.py run server. Now my development server is running. And now I can go to localhost 8000. And you can see that this is our Django 3 project. So another web framework is Flask. It's also uh, popular. Uh, so Flask is a micro web framework that's written in Python. Uh, we're saying a micro framework, but it does not mean that uh, you cannot build large applications with Flask. It means that Flask provides a solid core with the basic services, but you can use extensions for the rest of the work. For example, uh, in Flask, uh, there is no native support for the databases, web forms, authentication, and many more. But you can use extensions for this. Now, for example, for working with the forms, we can use Flask WTF. We can install that and we can use that. Or for working or a model, we can use uh, SQL Alchemy. Now, for the installation, you can just use pip install Flask and it will be installed. Okay, now for the creation of the, our first project uh, in Flask, it's easy than Django. So you can just, uh, uh, first you can use from Flask, import Flask. Now you can just create the object of the Flask. Uh, and uh, after that, we are going to just create our route. Also, uh, you can watch my complete video on uh, Flask. And after this, we can just create diff index and we can just return a hello world in here. And now we need to just run our development server. So also it has a development server that you can use. Uh, you can just say app.run and also debugging to true. Now, if we run this, So now it's uh, starting our, now you can see it's on port 5000. And if I go to localhost port 5000, you can see that we are receiving hello world from the flask. So another web framework is called CherryPy. So CherryPy is a Pythonic object oriented web framework. 
Now, CherryPie allows developers to build web applications in much the same way uh, they would build any other object-oriented uh, Python programs. This results in uh, smaller source code developed in less time. And also, CherryPie is now more than 10 years old and uh, it has proven to be very fast and also stable. Uh, so CherryPie is being used in production by many sites. According to their documentation, CherryPie is used by Netflix. So Netflix uses CherryPie as a building block in their in infrastructures. And there are some cool features for the CherryPie. For example, uh, it easily runs on multiple HTTP servers. It has a powerful configuration system and also it has a flexible plugin system. It has built-in tools for caching, encoding, sessions, authentication, static content, and many more. So for the installation, you can just use pip install cherrypy and it will be installed. Okay, now let's just create our first Hello World example in cherrypy. The first thing we need to import uh, cherry. So you can just say import cherrypy. And after this, we are going to just create class my app and we are going to just say at cherry pie dot uh, expose and we are going to just create our index in here and we need to return a uh, hello world in here let me just return a uh, hello cherry pie and uh, now we can just uh, run this um, I run our development server server we can just say cherry pie dot quick start and we need to just add our root class in here now if you run this let me just run it okay now you can see it's running on port ETT and you can just check check localhost uh, ET ET and now if you run this so you can see we are receiving Hello Cherry Pie. So another web framework is called Bootle. Now Bootle is a fast, simple, and lightweight WSGI micro web framework for Python. It is distributed as a single file module and has no dependencies other than the Python standard library. There are some cool features for the Bootle. For example, uh, it has routing and also it has templates uh, fast and pythonic built-in template engine and support uh, for Mako, Jinja 2 and also Cheetah templates uh, it has convenient access to form data file upload file uploads cookies headers and also other HTTP related metadata and it has a built-in HTTP uh, development server and supports for for example for paste fab ws3 and cherrypy or any other wsgi capable http server so now uh, for the installation you can uh, just use pep install bootle and it will be installed okay now we're going to just create our first hello world in bootle so first we need to import from bootle uh, import route and also we are going to import run so now let's just create our route so at app dot uh, so at route and we are going to it uh, uh, so the route I'm going to just use index and like this and we are going to just create diff index and we need to just return hello uh, for example like this okay now we need to just run this uh, we can just say run uh, we need to add our host in here it is local host and also we need to just add our port in here so port uh, et et and uh, the debugging I'm going to just make it to true so now let me just run this okay now you can see it's listening on localhost port et et and if I go to localhost port et et and you can see hello bottle application so then another framework is called pyramid so the pyramid is also an open source python based web development framework 
Um, its main goal is to do as much as possible with the minimum complexity. So the most striking feature of the pyramid is its ability to work well with both uh, small and also uh, large applications. Now uh, for the um, installation you can just use pip install pyramid and it will be uh, installed on your computer. Okay guys, now this is our code for the pyramid. First we have imported uh, the requirement classes. Uh, and after that we have just created a URL uh, URL route in here. And we are just returning a response of hello pyramid application. And uh, this is the place that we are going to just create our route. And after that we have added our this URL route in here. And this is the route name. And this is the server that our server is running on localhost and also port ETT. Now, if I run this, let me just run this. And now if I uh, go to localhost port ET, uh, ET, and you'll see that I'm receiving hello pyramid, pyramid application. So uh, guys, in conclusion, we can see that all of them are pow powerful web frameworks, but uh, uh, in my opinion and in my personal choice is Django uh, because it is one of the most popular web framework and also it is uh, a widely used web framework in Python.